Hi everyone, this is Amanda at Amanda's Bookopia. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. And today, we're going to be doing my August TBR. And you're probably wondering why I'm standing. Well, it was my special guest idea. So, introducing... Hello. Dana. Hello, Amanda's Bookopia. I'm Dana. <laughs> Just and here to help out, you know. So you're probably wondering why she's here. She is picking my August books for me. And we're going to be featuring the amazing readathon by Bree from Four Pots in the Book. I will link her announcement video down below if you want to check out the readathon. And so since I'm going to be on Team Blue because of my shirt, I'm going to see if Dana could pick as many blue books as she can and whatever else she thinks I should read for the month. Yeah, we're going to try, but Amanda also has like some prompt cards, like she has like a ton. So we thought maybe it'd be <laughs> fun if like she pulled prompts and then I tried to pick a book from there. So we're going to, I guess Dana's also going to be picking how many books. So I have no control over how I many books. I didn't know that. Wait, <laughs> I was just about to ask you how many. However many you think I should read for the month, because Ray did it for me for July, so you get to do it for me this month. Okay, wait. Okay, refresh my memory. How much did Ray pick? Like, including one my one extra book, I think it was like 10, 11, somewhere around there. Okay. I'm right. almost done with my July TBR, by the way, so I should feeling, probably get that done pretty soon. Are you feeling like you need a small TBR, or are you feeling like you're about to crush August? Well, seeing as... Props for the amazing readathon will be dropping in a short amount of time, like yeah. every couple days. We'll probably try and go for as many as we can. Spending! Okay, give me a number! Because <laughs> I, I might get too much. <laughs> well, if I, I'm almost done with July, so that's 11 books. So let's go for 15. Okay, <laughs> fun. Alright, do you want to pick the first prompt? Like, do you want me to hold them like this? Like, pick a card, any card? Sure, <laughs> can do that. But we gotta turn it around because um, the um, oh. the words are on that side. We don't, oh. wanna... <laughs> we don't want that. <laughs> I'm already messing it up. Okay. <laughs> any card, any card. <laughs> we'll go with right in the middle. And this one says male author. Okay. So any male book by a male author. author. Wow. Did they even write books? Because I feel like so many of my, <laughs> so many of my personal TBR I noticed is like written by a female. I'm just kidding. I know I know they write books. Don't come, don't come for me in the comments. I know they write books. Okay. There's one that I see that I just feel like would be rude to give you just because it's so large. But, well, there is going to be one weekend that um, I think for the Amazing Readathon where they want to like, there's going to be, like, some sort of face-off going on, so we want to do some short books and, and some longer books are okay. okay. They read pretty fast, usually. You do actually read really, really fast. Actually! Oh, hold on, I got a different one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, we have The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. I got this for Amanda for her birthday. <laughs> so, I was just like... I'm gonna pick it. Um, but also, Girl. our friend Nikki like really enjoyed this book and mm -hmm. is a huge Riley Sager fan. So it just feels like, just like why not, you know? And my intention is to gather all his books because I want to read them all. Me too. Stunning. Okay, here's book one by a male author. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Pull number two. We'll go from right. We have published in 2020. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> well, there's going to be some research going on here. Yeah. Quite specific. 2017. Alright. We're not there. <laughs> <laughs> and the goal is to get as many blue books as possible because there's bonus points for this readathon. 2020. These prompts are so specific. 2019! I was so <laughs> One year oh. off. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is stunning. This has right. to be new. There's no way this is. I think it's a little 2021. Bit. Okay, I found 2019. <laughs> 2021. This is rude. I'm actually funny reading that with Clint oh. for August. So I do need to read it. Sunny. Okay, okay. 
<laughs> I was looking at the blue ones, but yikes. Okay. 2022. Dang. We finally got one, folks. It took a long periodical amount of time. Um, but we have The Ravens by Cass Morgan and Danielle Page. The cover, mm -hmm. stunning. The book two cover, also. I've stunning. seen book two's yeah. cover, and it's very yeah, nice. Yeah, this is like a witchy book. I think it's perfect mm -hmm. as you transition and get ready for fall. Yeah, yeah. actually, my the reason why I even got this one is because my upstairs neighbor, I saw her reading the hardcover. And I'm like, mm -hmm. ooh, let me check out what this is about. And it sounded really good, so I'm like, bought <laughs> Looks for blue. Not a stitch of blue in sight, but we finally found a 2020 <laughs> a 2020 release. That was At least we got something. Yeah, that took some searching. <laughs> okay, please pick a card with a kinder prompt. <laughs> Let's see what we can get. We have has a comma in the title. Ooh, okay. Amanda needs to win an award for prompts because <laughs> like honestly what a specific set of prompts we have here if i don't have one at the moment one. then we could always switch this out for a different prompt if we need to it's hard folks it's really hard are there even commas <laughs> in titles all right we're switching the prompt because literally i can't find one <laughs> on her show so so we will put this one aside so we don't accidentally pull this one again Let's not pull that ever again. <laughs> At least not when I have to search. <laughs> Alright, we have starts with the same letter as your name. Ooh. So something that starts with an A, because my name's Amanda. Or a D, because my name's Dana and I'm picking. True. That is true. There you go. See, you already read the one that I would have picked. <laughs> After by Anna Tosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm like on a mission. Well, I read the first two, but I haven't read the others yet. <laughs> and I do want to read them all at some point so I want to do a vlog comparison of the books and the movies. Okay. Do you, are you ready to read the, because the third one is very chunky. Do you want that now or do you, I don't want it to ruin the vibe. Because I want you to read it when you're ready just because I want you to love it. <laughs> so I can pick something different. Maybe we'll say that on her another yeah, time. Yeah, it's, it's chunky and I want your soul to be ready. Okay, okay. I'm going to go with... After All by Heidi McLaughlin. I know not a thing after this, but it says happiness after heartache, and that <laughs> sounds like you're gonna cry. <laughs> so, so sorry, friend. And I believe it's also a romance. Yes, it feels it feels like a romance. I feel like anything like this. Plus, the cover gives off summer vibes, and we're still it does. in it summer, does. so we'll you wouldn't it. know that though, because right now it's a torrential downpour. <laughs> okay. Oh, I have to pick up the card. Sorry, I got too excited. <laughs> All right, number four. Let's go with this one. This one says a five-star prediction. Stunning. Okay. So this could be mine or Dana's. Okay. If she has any that are on my shelf. Okay, okay. Listen, Amanda's Booktopia viewers out there, <laughs> I need you to know that Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros has literally taken over my identity. And people on the interwebs have said mm -hmm. that this one's even better. Mm -hmm. Called One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig. And it says Maiden, Monster, Martyr. And I, I know I'm excited to read it at some point. I don't have it. I will read it eventually. But I would love to know your thoughts on it because it's been, it's been hyped. Like, cause you know, after people read Fourth Wing, like they were really I've trying to find, yeah, they were really trying to find something that was gonna be able to give them that like feeling again. Mm -hmm. And some people, some of the girly pops are saying that this one's better. I'm excited because I've been wanting to read this for a while. Study. Okay. All right. So we wow. have four so far. Four. Okay. So we still have a little more to go. And we have a map in the book. Ooh. Okay. Fantasy. Map in the come book. through fantasy. I feel like I feel like. You can always pick a fantasy book, and it's gonna have a map. So I love the Five of Night, and I have the Five of the Dawn, which I haven't read yet. So it might have a map. Is. Let's see. Let's see. There it is. Here we go. We got a map. Yeah. And I'm very excited to read this because I read the Five of the Night for July, and I will tell you all my thoughts in my July wrap up. It's but I do really want to read it. It's got some blue tones on there, all right? So she's gonna get some points for that. Mm -hmm. This is for like sure. a fantasy. I think like a sickness, like a plague. 
breaks out in the first one. It's like Robin Hood vibes. Ooh, stunning. Okay. We have a title that is written in cursive. I don't know if I have any, but we can. Oh my it. god, Amanda! <laughs> If we can't find a title like written in cursive, we will pull another prompt. Okay, no, there's one that I see. I don't know if you've read it. Have you read the memory book? Not yet. Okay, well. You will this month. Well, let me, <laughs> let me look. Let me keep looking because this one doesn't have blue. Let me. Whatever blue we could find would be very yeah, helpful. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do a quick perusal. If you will. Goodbye Days by Jeff Sentner. I have not read it. I don't know anything about it. I got it from you, actually. She did. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it is very much cursive, and it is very, very much blue. I was intentionally going to save this for Books and Lala's... Why are we pick a different one? <laughs> for a different... Like, for one of her um, prompts for the year where she does, you know, that stuff. I can't remember. Buzzword? Yeah, buzzword. Thank you. I was going to use it for buzzer for good in the title because it has good in the title. Mm -hmm. However, I need blue books and this works for now. I can always stunning. find another one. Absolutely. Okay, stunning. So we have six. Six so far. All right, nine more. We're pushing it, folks. Yeah. She's going <laughs> to have an awesome reading month. I can feel it in my bones. Author that shares your first name. There's no blue, but she's gonna have to make do. You heard me right? <laughs> he, a poet, and I didn't even know. <laughs> okay, stunning. I know Ray's out there wanting to laugh right now at everything. <laughs> he's trying so hard. My fiance is probably listening in from the other room right now. <laughs> okay, we're on number eight. This is. Oh, this is a penguin book. So that means yeah. Ray gets to come in. Right. Book, yeah. Any book. He gets to say any book he wants me to read. It does not have to be on my shelf. I just he just has to be something that he wants for me to read. Okay. This is gonna be a difficult one. Yeah. Introducing my fiance Raymond. AKA <laughs> the penguin. <laughs> that, that was anticlimactic. Hold on. <laughs> Anyways, we were gonna buddy read this yeah, together. Yeah. And, and it's it got some blue, blue on it. 
Definitely has blue. So this is the Naturals. That works out perfect. Yeah, The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. She also wrote The Inheritance Games. Which I absolutely love. Which I absolutely hate. <laughs> <laughs> well, I loved book one, but book two. And her Looking new book with Brothers Hawthorne is coming out in August. So Stunning. I am very excited for that. Stunning. Stunning. And I'm also getting the deluxe version of The Inheritance Games, which was a gift from Ray as well, so I am very excited. Stop it! That's so cute. Okay. Hey, I love this. How fun, right? <laughs> and we have published in 2022. 2022. We have <laughs> Network by Nora Roberts. It's got a bunch of blue, a lot of blue going on. There's Nora. Hey, girl. Um, <laughs> don't know anything about this, but oh, an unforgettable thief in a new novel of suspense, greed, love, and survival. Okay. You might like some of her books. That's what I'm saying. Honestly, baby, I have one of her books on my shelves that I need to read. I think, Which one? I think, don't quote me, but I think it's called The Search for Us, The Search of Us. Oh, just The Search. The Search. Yeah. There, I added words that didn't need to be there. But um, it, that one was pretty good, but it's not one of her best. Oh. I recommend okay. some, uh, some of her older ones. Okay. Like, I absolutely love the Private Scandals and Genuine Lies are like my top two. I do remember you talking about Genuine Lies. Mm -hmm. All right, next book, we have a you pick. So it's a free pick, basically. It could be absolutely anything. Stunning. Okay. Oh, I know what I'm gonna pick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it and, okay. Flock <laughs> <laughs> by Miss Kate Stewart. And Dana's one of the reasons why I even got the book in the first place because she, her and Nikki and Karina and Kaylani, and Kaylani yeah. are obsessed with the series. Absolutely. So obsessed. I bought it because of the, my phone was acting up, basically. Yeah, yeah. Everybody needs to read this. It's stunning. <laughs> so it is a romance, but there's so much plot. It's I don't I don't want to give a single spoiler because like it's just so worth like anybody going into it just not knowing anything. But if you like romance romance um but and like, it's also supposed to be a spin-off series i heard with yes a new book coming yes <laughs> one last rainy day <laughs> i'm gonna sob when i read that but <laughs> there's so much plot there's like huge like story going on so it's not just like romance and fluff like there's mm -hmm. a lot happening and worth every minute the next mm -hmm. book in the series is called exodus and it will literally break your soul in half so we got 12 so far, so we need three more. And we have Gifted. Kaylani loved that duo, Ooh, and he, you gave it to me. This one? Yeah. Stop it. Okay, I gave this to Amanda, and this is... <laughs> our friend Kaylani loves this book. Loves it. Where Dreams Ascend by Janella Angelise. Um, honestly, it's like one of the most stunning covers. I've never read it, but I do know people kind of... Um, said it gave kind of like the greatest showman vibes and Ooh. I'm obsessed I with love that. that movie I was I mean I'm not even lying <laughs> to you like hand to god I was listening to the soundtrack last night and watching the videos <laughs> of the songs while I was trying to unpack I absolutely love that and movie by trying and to the soundtrack yeah and by trying to unpack I mean I just sat there on the couch and watched videos instead of unpacking right rewrite the stars is probably one of my favorites oh man make me cry two sure. more jinx because <laughs> what the heck <laughs> A recent purchase. Ooh. So any of the books I have called recently. Did you buy this one? Or did I did buy it actually. Okay. Recently? Um, the past month or two maybe? That's yeah. recent enough. Okay. <laughs> I have not read this, but Nikki, Karina, and I think Kehlani mm -hmm. have read this and they literally rave about it. I read like, a lot of great things. Yeah. And to where it's like they want to read everything by Abby Jimenez. And also um another channel i think destiny sidwell she um at one point was like going through and reading a bunch of abby's books because like she became obsessed and so blue recent purchase and best part which people don't know it's a host favorite for the amazing readathon so with host favorites you get an extra 50 grc books for for stuff is this her host, her host favorite it's one of the host favorites there's a lot of hosts <laughs> Well, you are welcome, my sometimes. So that works out perfect. Stunning, stunning. So what, one more? Yes. 
Last, Last one. one. <laughs> Honestly, you're inside my head. <laughs> Tony. All right, and we have a photo of author in the back cover. Ooh, so any Nora books have a picture of an author in the back. Nora would have been stunning for that. That's okay. That's okay. Because a lot of them have it like inside the back cover. That counts. That it have to be like on the I outside. Say that okay. This one has pictures in the back. And then if you read this, it would finish out a series. I think it's it just, would. A, it's just a duology. Yeah, and then you could, well, this doesn't have blue. Let me keep looking, actually. Yeah, because so it you might can get be the so extra points. Yeah. Because if you guys don't know what the Amazing Readathon is, I'm sure, like, Amanda will link yep. it. But it's based off of, if you could tell, like, the Amazing Race. So I feel like anything that we can do to get you those extra money so yep. you can actually travel and do what you need to do. And blue cover gives us bonus points towards our team and any host favorites. Gives us extra money for transportation. Okay, this one's blue. This one has pictures, and this will also finish a series. Yeah, but it's in the back flat, basically. Yeah. So like, right there. Yep. So this is One Night Breaks by Janella Angelis. This is the second book in with the Where Dreams Descend. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's the series name, but I believe it was just a duology. Yeah. So like so. you'll finish a series, you'll get some bonus points. Right. Study. Perfect. And that is all 15 books <laughs> I'm going to be reading for August. Yikes. And if I want to add any extras to what I'm currently reading, that will also give me some extra points for the readathon if I want to. However, I'm going to be pretty busy with these ones, so we'll see how it goes. I will tell you, though, like, Amanda is absolutely ridiculous with how fast she can read, like, without <laughs> audiobooks, like, just physically reading. I could literally never read as many <laughs> books as she reads if I didn't have audiobooks. <laughs> Absolutely no way. So I have an easier time with physical books than I do with like audio because I fall asleep to audiobooks. <laughs> mm, I feel that. So these are all 15 I am going to be reading for August and the Amazing Readathon and hopefully I can get some good reading done this month because I am going to need it. She can do Plus, it. Um, Brie from Four Possible Books is doing the readathon. She said the prompts are gonna, that she's dropping are going to be kind of vague. So you, she said, go ahead, plan a TBR. Yeah. You can fit them in however you need to. So I'm hoping this will be enough. That was one of the reasons I got nervous to participate. I'm not participating. I'm just going to cheer Amanda on from the sidelines. Um, mm -hmm. But the fact that like her prompts get dropped throughout the month, I was just like, oh god, that every couple of days are dropping. Stress out. So hopefully mm -hmm. you can fit these into those prompts otherwise you have to ask i am stuff. hoping send her well wishes <laughs> i'm gonna need it yeah. <laughs> well thank you so much for asking me to come and do this um i this had a great time fun. yeah i had a fun time and it was nice to be back to visit so. right yeah and hopefully we'll get to see more videos from dana at some point when she's ready to come back i hope assume because i love watching her videos oh, thank you friend thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for coming yes. So thank you all for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe down below. Give it a thumbs up. If you like this video. <laughs> and feel free to let me know if you've read any of these books. Did you like them? Did you not? Tell me what you think. And I will see you all next time. Bye.